Today we'll be uh, repairing a Slimpar 38 that has uh, three LEDs burned out. Uh, as you can see we have uh, three reds burned out and it's been like that for a while. I just haven't got around to uh, fixing it. But it's something that needs to be done because it affects the color mixing. So to start, I'll come down here, unplug it of course, power it off. First step is to uh, remove these bolts. That, that hold the yoke in place. Pretty simple. Set those aside along with the yoke itself. And you end up with just a light. Now we're going to go inside, so we need a screwdriver. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the four bolts on top need to come out first. Okay, now that we have the four bolts out, just remove the lid. Set that aside and bring the inside. Now there's three more screws that we need to take out. One, two, and three before we can proceed. Now we're inside, this simply comes right out. Now to make this simple on my part, I've already marked uh, where the three LEDs that are out is, and it's those three right there with that mark. Now to determine the source of the problem, I'm going to have to plug it in and uh, do some quick testing. So. I have to set it over the edge kind of like so, wait for it to come on. As you can see through the back, those three are out. This could be one or two things. It could be uh, a resistor that's causing the three of them to go out, or it could be one of the LEDs itself. To determine if it's a resistor or an actual LED, all you need is a simple piece of wire. Now this is going to be hard holding the camera and the wire at the same time, but um, basically I'm going to take the end of the resistor that goes into the three LEDs that are out and because I think it's the first LED that might be out, I'm going to jump the end of the resistor to the beginning the, or the positive side of the second LED in the line. And I'll try to demonstrate that. And if the light comes on, that means the first one, of course, is out. And yes, they're coming on. The second two are coming on when I jump that. That means the first one's out. If the second two LEDs, when I did the test, didn't come on, that could possibly mean the resistor itself was bad. So what you'd do is you'd find a different resistor, go off the end of that, and try it from the beginning of the three LEDs. If they come on then, that means the resistor is bad. But since the two LEDs that we tested came on when we jumped it, that means the first one's bad. So we're going to order new LEDs and replace them. So obviously the next step would be to unplug this plug in the back. It supplies the electric. And there's a glue on here, so you're going to have to take something and, like a screwdriver and kind of pry that glue off. It can be a pain in the butt, but once you have this off, you're good to go. So we'll set this aside. And all, uh, all these uh, slim pars are alike. Like this is a venue, uh, Chauvet looks exactly the same inside. Actually, they use pretty much the same exact parts. And you can use uh, this video pretty much for any light. Here's the actual LEDs. I bought uh, 15 red ones. It was only like three, three bucks, four bucks on eBay. Came pretty quick, so no big deal there. We're just gonna need one of them today. Now we're ready to desolder the LED itself, and of course you'll need a soldering iron. And uh, solder sucker can come in very well handy when you're uh, dealing with electronics like this. 
So, start by activating this arch sucker. And this is pretty simple because it's just two leads. We have uh, this one right here. So, quick touch. Got it. And next. Got it. Right. Oh, oh, you should just come right out. Yep. Loose. So we'll just knock it out from the top. Okay, maybe we'll stick a little screwdriver in there. It's like pulling a loose tooth here. She doesn't want to come. Oh, there we go. So, here's the old LED. Okay, now we're ready to uh, put the LED back in, so... Flip it around. And what I like to do is start by uh, just putting some of the solder on there, heat it up real quick. And just to make sure everything's tight, I'm going to let that cool. And then I'm going to heat it, both of them up once again and pull on it just to make sure it's good and tight. Alright. Now the LED should be uh, tied up against the uh, silicone circuit itself. So we are good. So now that we're done soldering, we're going to test it just to make sure it works before putting it back together. And uh, don't cut the leads yet, because if you put the LED in the wrong way, it'll be a lot harder to put it back in with the cut leads if you need to redo that. So now we're just going to test it by uh, plugging it back in. And uh, make sure the leads aren't touching anything metal, so we don't short anything out. And we're going to plug it back in to the wall. Of course, being careful that we don't do anything that can endanger ourselves. If I can find the outlet. And we're back in business. They're all on. The pair worked. And if uh, the three LEDs were still out and you know it's the LED that's burned out, just desolder it and flip it around and put it back in. It should work. So now that we have uh, everything working, we're going to unplug it and screw everything back together. Reverse order of how we took it apart, obviously. So now after replacing one LED, the fixture is completely back to normal. How it came in the box after this guy decided to burn out. So now you know how to fix burned out LEDs on your LED fixtures.